with it. Y'all give him a little second. I'm a soccer fan. Let me get this here. Send this here. All right. Send this here. Make sure my internet working real quick. Internet ain't working yet. Cause you see how? Okay, there you go. Nah. YouTube, YouTube be iking up on you, boy. YouTube gonna ike up on you now. Nah. One thing they gonna do, they ike up. <clears throat> no, I already had me a haircut. I just be having on a hat. But, uh, forgot my hat today. Yeah, I was about to go to um, Turkey and get my old hair line put on. So I ain't got to have these hair fibers, but they, they want to be able to use my pictures all over the world. I said, no, nah. Y'all can't have my thinning head out there all over the world. I pay for it. So, yeah, I wanted to pop on here. There was a couple things I was I was just talking to my 16-year-old. I was bringing to his soccer game, so... He play in an hour, so I got a little bit of time till my wife get here with the chairs. We had to, we drove separate vehicles because she wanted to take her a little nap. And uh, Jezebel earlier today told me she could see in my eyes that my wife cheating on me. <laughs> the lady say she could see it in my eyes and hear it in my voice. I'm like, now nah, where you heard my voice at? If you heard my voice on YouTube, how you how? What do my voice sound like that say my wife out here sleeping around on me? I say, boy, if people say, I say, boy, we can't let everybody out their cage, boy. Everybody can't be let out their cage. I, my goodness, Lord. But I say, you know, Lord, just, just bless them, Lord. Just bless them. But yeah, so we, we had to drive several vehicles because my son was ready to get here. He wanted to get here an hour early because he got a different fill in coach today. And my wife wanted to take her a little nap because we was up late last night from going out to dinner. And I was thinking about something coming over here. I was talking to my son because my son, he still had, he ain't had his growth spurt yet. That's what she was doing. She was shooting a shot because I think she wrote me some time back talking about some other foolishness it's a and then my thing is it's like this i'm 100 percent faithful to my wife and i'll be honest with you i don't even get tried and when i do get tried it just showed me how when people be turned out because when a woman try me she looked like the devil done walked up behind anytime a woman tried me she looked like the devil been dragging her since she came out of mama womb and i'd be like i'd be like lord i know the devil gonna try to tempt you and test you but I, I'm, I'm like lord i'm starting to get offended at this point with the women that the devil sent me I'm like, my goodness, like, at least let the woman look half decent. I showed my wife a, um, a lady who shot a shot at me not long ago. I was like, baby, look at this. Look how this woman look. My wife just chuckling. She just chuckling. Because out of, out of the women who shoot, they shot at me. We ain't seen now cute one. I said, boy, I must look like I just fell off the back of a truck. I say, boy, I must look like who shot John and forgot to kill him. Because that stuff started to get to your ego after a little while. It's like, listen, at least if I'm going to be hollered at, at least let the woman look decent now. At least let me have to go to the Lord in prayer like, Lord, give me the strength. Lord, give me the strength to pass this test. I don't even, I be having to go to the Lord offended. Like, Lord, how in the world you let this thing come shoot a shot at me? 
But that also showed me the state of men. It showed me that men, that a lot of men are so nasty that these women ha have shot, they shot at a man and had thing put in them from shooting they shot at a man. Because a lot of men will, I'm not going to lie, a lot of men will sleep with anything. I ain't even going to say walking because she ain't even got to have legs. A lot of men will sleep with anything. And that, and I realized that when some of these women look like they be even fell off the back of a watermelon truck and, I'm, and got hit by the car behind it, I'm like, man, why is you shooting a shot? Come on now. And so the lady gonna come in my DMs. I had to block her talking about how she could see it in my eyes and hear it in my voice. Talking about is my wife stepping out on me. And talking about she done signed the NDA. She'll sign the NDA. Block. Block. But I wanted to tell y'all something. Something I was thinking about. Because my son, he is like 5'5". Five, five. He ain't had his growth spurt yet. He might be about 5'6". And so he's about, he'll be 17 next month. So I'm 5'10". Five nine and a half on a bad day or with a bad bite, but I'm five ten, so I'm two inches under the cutoff. Cause every woman that I didn't ever did matchmaking for, her list says six foot. And I be on the phone with my coaching clients, and the women be like, "Yeah, you know, I dated this guy. He was just so short." And I was like, "Well, how tall he was? He was like five ten." I'd be on the call like, I remember meeting one of my clients in person. She was a Hollywood celebrity. I walked up to her. She was like, oh, you short. Mind you, she 5'1". I'm 5'10". And she calling me short. And her baby daddy 5'8". I said, oh, boy. Well, y'all women will do anything to try to knock a man off his horse. So... My son five five, and the thing about it is with this young generation, and this is for y'all ladies to talk to y'all daughters, because my son will be seventeen next month, and they are dating at that age. My son still have not had his first kiss. To God be the glory, but you know why my son have not had his first kiss? Because he five five. My son told me that. He cannot get a girlfriend because he is not 5'10". Now, I don't really believe that. He goes to a predominantly white school. It's a private school. Right now, he in virtual school, and they saw him grow up. And my son used to have real bad eczema. So when somebody know the old you, it's hard for them to see the new you when they know the old you. I told him, I'm like, son, if you go to a different school, them young ladies probably be all over you, man, because you're not no ugly guy. Like, that big old, nice, perfect smile, that good old hair, you know, you pulling up in exotics. I'm like, but see, you don't want no woman that wants you for the wrong reason. And today, from the teenagers all the way up to the adults, I'm noticing that relationships are becoming more of a business deal. It's becoming, and not even just a business deal, a lot of it is is based on the wrong reasons and you got to make sure and and people we hate to hear this but you got to make sure that the person you choose has the character that you want them to have because if the person you choose if you know it's for the wrong reason if it's because of their height because of their money because of their last name, because of their job. So it's kind of like, I really want my son, I almost want my son to meet his wife now and be high school sweethearts and just learn how to build a relationship before he meet a woman and she come from poverty and know that if she get married to him, she marrying into money and know that he gonna, because his daddy, has done decent that he gonna figure out a way to do decent 
I ain't gonna let my kids struggle. I'm, I'm gonna help them till they find their way. I'm not gonna kick them to the curb at 18 and see eventually my son gonna meet him a young lady who she gonna know about the business side of things and be with them for the wrong reason. But I'm noticing adults is doing the same thing. And just like we see this here, this relationship that between this this young this older lady 39 year old lady drill with with the young man uh Jalen green she 39 uh he 22 and a lot of people is saying hey don't worry about you know we we too focus on other people life we too and that's just life that's just life yeah we gonna be focused on other people life <laughs> everybody knows it. it do you have a nose then you're gonna be nosy like ain't no sense of being mad about people being in people business as long as we can smell we finna be in somebody's business that's just life just like the lady dm me talking about I look like my wife cheating on me. I said, well, I, boy, I'm looking bad. I'm like, boy, I might need to go get me some Botox. Go get me some filler. I'm looking like that. I said, boy, I about told her what she looked like. Now you look like you done got stepped on. So just like with this older lady, let me help you understand this because men and women do this both ways. The reason why that older lady got with that young man is because the men at her age know the game. The men at 39, 40, they know they she has she has become what they call, this ain't my term. She has become what they call a pass around so y'all come up with that term so because the young lady drea michelle has become what they call a pass around the men her age all they want to do is wine and dine her enough to sleep with her but see because and that's unfortunate that is unfortunate but that is the game everybody know that's how it goes and what they'll do is they will call you a pass around if they done seen you date two or three people which is not fair it's not fair because the young lady could have literally since she been a celebrity she could have literally all i remember her is being with the nfl player orlando orlando scandrick that's all i really remember and then way back in the day hearing rumors about like maybe her and chris brown or something like that but i can't even remember if that was the person name and yeah she probably dealt with different celebrities because not every celebrity gonna show her to the world they just want to sleep with them and now it was talked about a long time ago you know with the young lady having they say that she left her son at home by herself and the police came to the door and the boy was in there that by herself nothing to eat and all of this and say she was out of town with a man you know on, on vacation with a man now that ain't just a celebrity thing i just seen a lady on the news who left her child in a room by the child's self and the lady went to puerto Rico or somewhere on vacation and the child died and this lady she wasn't a celebrity or nothing i guess she just wanted to get away and her, her, she got arrested and probably gonna do some time in jail so this the thing with this with this drill young lady and with these relationships and you see how the dynamics go and you have to be able to learn it for yourself so that you can protect yourself because you got to prepare yourself and you got to protect yourself and this is what i try to tell my clients like you have to be able to see yourself like god forbid me and my wife god forbid something happened to my wife or me and my wife went through a divorce if i had to be single again at this level in my life having been married and been in love i would be like apostle paul i would stay single the rest of my life 
I will be single and I would be abstinent the rest of my life. And I wouldn't date again because I wouldn't be able to tell if a woman like me for me or if she wants money. And for me personally, it would it would be less about that. It'll be I, my wife is my true love. So if God forbid something happened to my wife, if she left, you know, God called her home, which he ain't gonna do that, I'd be single. And that's why I try to tell people when they be like they lose their spouse. I think it was what's the man name? Pastor Tony Evans, I think his name is. I think I seen he just got married or something. Or or and I think his wife died. And that happens. That happens at a certain age, you know, men lose their wife to like breast cancer. A lot of men lose their wife to like breast cancer or MS or different situations. I don't see how they move on. I don't really get it. I don't understand how they move on. And that, but I also say you can't judge people if you ain't never been in their shoes. Cause I don't know what it feel like to be alone and to be like lonely or to be as a man and wanting the part that a woman bring. I never lived like that because I always wanted a relationship. But what I'm noticing today is relationships are skewed and relationships aren't being built on genuine connection. It's being built with ulterior motives. And sometimes it's from the man, sometimes it's from the woman, but it's going both ways. So like what happened is the young lady, Drea, it's hard for us on the outside looking in because the young man could be a nice guy. He looks like he's a nice guy. He looks like he's a charming guy. He, he knows how to treat a woman. Every man knows how to treat a woman, but not every man chooses to treat a woman right. And then with him making millions of dollars, that level of treatment is on a whole nother level. So, and then he's young, so he's not as jaded as a 40 year old man. He still got hope. He still got rose colored glasses on. So. He may get a house full of roses. He may get a Cartier, Chanel, Gucci, Louis. He putting her on a private jet and he flying around the country, flying around the world. Like he got rose colored glasses on and he know how to treat a woman. And so he gonna wind her and dine her and then so he'll go drill old behind. She's sitting up there and, and 40 is not old. I just turned 40 yesterday. 40 ain't old, but I, but I'm calling. But you old when you got you a, somebody young enough to be your child. That's when you old. So now Drea old behind. She and I say that affectionately. That's not. I'm not saying decrepit. So now Drea old behind. Get this young whippersnapper, and she like, man, I'm being treated better than I was when I was with Orlando Scandrick. And then, so she done had men her age who done dogged out, who done probably put hands on her, who done cheated on her. And because the thing about men, this is the thing with men, is men worry too much about what other men think. And so, and a lot of times, and it takes a special type of man to not worry about what other men think. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I think her child father, her baby daddy, Jalen Green, will they last? No, I don't think they're going to last at all because he's way too young and he got way too much money. I get him three to five years, absolute mics. But what he, but let me tell you about something with a, about a man with money. A man with money do not care about child support. Most, and when I say a man with money don't care about child support, I ain't talking about every single man. But on average, men do not care about money, meaning like worship money. That's why the strip club exists. Think about how many kids, think about how many underprivileged kids could have been put through college with the money 
that men have thrown in the air in a strip club. Do that math. Do that math. I, I coached a stripper one time. She said she hired me for life coaching to create a get off the pole plan. She wanted to be off the pole in two years. But she couldn't handle the truth. So she only made it through two sessions with me instead of four. She paid for four and only made it through two because I'll be telling the truth. And she had to get off the pole plan. This probably was 15 years ago. I think she might still be on the pole. And she told me in one night she made $8,000. That's a year tuition at some little schools. Think about that. So men don't care about money. So this young man, Jalen Green, let me tell you how this happened. Because a lot of people don't understand this. Okay. When you young, like Jalen Green, and you meet an idol. So Drea is a idol to Jalen Green. The same way Megan Good was an idol to Devon Franklin. The same way Sierra is an idol to Russell. So the same way Superhead, Karen Steffens, was a idol to all of these different celebrities that she dealt with. So men idolize women. That's why Samson got his hair cut off by Delilah. That's why David fell into sin with Bathsheba. That's why Boaz could not concentrate once he seen Ruth bent over in that field. And men idolize women. That's how Jezebel exists. That's how the Jezebel spirit exists and is so powerful because men idolize women. But here's the thing. When you is, her name was Superhead, Karen Seven. When you are Jalen Green age and you paint your nails colors and you are biracial and you light skin and you have soft curly hair, you battling a lot. He battling a lot of different combination of insecurities and sports saved him. Because one thing you know about men, if you know about men, light-skinned men get bullied. They get picked on for being light-skinned. They got whole memes and jokes about light-skinned men versus dark-skinned men. And so light skin has always been seen as soft. And that's why, like, even the rapper D1, he said he locked up his hair because people was... Talk, telling him you can't lock up I bet you can't lock up bet you can't lock up because he like you know got a lot of different races in his blood so light-skinned men go through a lot you get light-skinned men get called soft they get called lame they get called weak they get called punks and so now you got this young guy Jalen Green he light-skinned he got that he got soft curly hair he paint his nails I think he the one that got a video of him getting pumped in the booty. They got clothes on, but it looked like it was guys in the in the dorm room playing around. And I think somebody, one of the other guys, pumped them in the booty. And guys go to playing like that because they looking at each other strong bike. They be looking at each other bike and booty and angling in the locker room. So a lot of these guys that be in locker rooms, they whole life. And they be on buses and planes with they team they whole life. A lot of these guys do become bi curious. So when these guys become bi curious, they care less about having a wholesome woman because their spirit is turned out. And then also the young men that's Jalen Green age, they are. They are uh, what I call porn babies. These young men that's Jalen Green age was raised on porn. So what that porn does is it defiles your spirit. 
and it warps your sense of reality. What porn does is it warps these men and women mind. That's why I've never watched porn because I understand the mind. I know what it'll do to your mind because if porn made sense and if we was supposed to watch it, then we would be, it would be normal practice of us looking through our neighbor bedroom window while they being intimate with their partner. You're not supposed to watch two other human beings be intimate. It's demonic. But see, I guarantee you, Jalen Green watch porn. So when you watch porn, you're going to see a much older woman who take care of herself, her body, because she underdeveloped. So Drea, Michelle, it's not that she, she what you call a late bloomer. When she was 18 years old, she probably looked at 10. And so she what you call a late bloomer to where the weight put on late, 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 late. Because if you look at the young lady, Drea, there are some of y'all teenage, some of y'all was built the way she built when you was a teenager. Some of y'all had more meat on your bones. Some women have more meat on their bones when they was... 12 years old than what Drea got at 39 years old. So she what you call a late bloomer. But then from her being out here with these celebrities and her showing off body with her swimsuit, that seduces a man, especially a young porn baby. So the same thing with the porn baby is no, this ain't an RV. This is a Sprinter. It's a Mercedes Sprinter. This, this is my soccer van, my travel van. So with these porn babies like Zion Williamson. Zion Williamson on the New Orleans Pelicans, same thing as Jalen Green, porn baby. They raised up on porn so they have a warped sense of reality. So when they see a woman, they don't read the woman the same way a man who has a hold of his reality would read a woman. So the way that one of us would read a woman, we will see her for who she is. And I'm gonna try to help you understand this. So there's women who, because they, you, you ever seen Tales from the Crypt? And Tales from the Crypt, that old show used to come on, or maybe a Twilight Zone, whichever one of them was, it had like a skeleton with some old white, hair on it which one that was tell from the script or whatever so whichever one of those right there that's what some women look like even though on the outside they beautiful on the outside they are absolutely gorgeous they body is perfect they skin is perfect but when a seasoned man who is not mentally warped by porn looks at that woman we see that skeleton with that gray hair from tales with tales of the crypt that's what we see twilight zone we don't see no voluptuous beautiful woman because we could read a woman's spirit for seasoned men who done been renewed by christ especially so you will be able to see a Jezebel. See, the thing with Jalen Green is, it's not that he got finessed. He didn't get finessed. He know exactly what he doing, but he does not care. He don't care about her age, and he don't care that she got a child his age. And he don't care that he gonna be paying child support for the next 22 years. He does not care at all because he is warped by this society this over sexualized pornographic society so his rooting in reality is completely different and that's where most of these young men are in reality they're not rooted in reality because porn is not real it is acting so when you watch that and you engage in that 
and then you promiscuous on top of it trying to fulfill those fantasies that you see on that porn the same way zion williamson did the same way the other young boy on the minnesota timberwolves uh anthony williams maybe his name is or something like that on the minnesota Tim he got us he slept with this woman the woman says she had conceived and then they say something about he's supposed to be paying her off or something. Then some people say it wasn't real. But the thing about it is a lot of these men, a lot of men with money pay to sleep with women. And then, and, and they paying either they put in cash in her hand to pay her or they pay by private jet, steak and lobster, Lobster and pasta, Chanel bag, Birkin bag, they still paying. But see, men, so many men, not every man, not, 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 not God fearing good men, but so many men are so warped by the porn that they will spend any amount of money to fulfill that lust. They'll want to fulfill that lust. And if they got millions of dollars, a Birkin bag, a Chanel bag is nothing to a multi-millionaire. So it ain't even that Jalen Green was finesse because he know what he doing. But he don't care because he got money to blow. And then he looking at Drea and he like, man, my baby going to be pretty. He thinking he finna have him a pretty baby, but what he don't realize is a baby might look like it fell from the sky because a lot of time when both of the parents are considered uh, attractive societally, a lot of times the baby look like that baby that your grandma got to bite her tongue on. You know sometimes your grandma see, see a baby and she like, Lord forgive me. Who baby that is? Who child? Y'all gonna christen the baby? You done seen them kind of babies. So now every baby is cute. Every baby is cute. But so he probably thinking, oh man, my baby finna look good. But one thing I saw growing up as being an observationist is that the prettiest girls in high school had the least attractive parents. And I used to be confused about that. I used to be like, and then all of the mamas that was beautiful, daughter looked at like a child of God. And I just was so confused about that. Now there are exceptions to the rule. So here go. So what Jalen was doing, because these boys have these porn dreams, he dive off in there unprotected. He dive off. See, Darlene telling the truth. She said Tony had to do that with some of my grandkids. I hope no none of your children follow me on here, not Darlene. Now, so he dove off in there because he watched porn. So he all in there swimming, uh, unprotected, uh, uh, uh. He swan diving in there. He, uh, 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 uh. All in there, unprotected. Why? Because he watched porn. Had he not been a porn watcher, he would have seen her for who she is, which is a woman that have lived that Hollywood lifestyle and have been out here and been around with different millionaire men and you're not going to be able to save that woman, change that woman, tame that woman. You finna get got for every dollar in your bank account. You about to get got. And I'm going to tell you something. Because I seen this. I seen this. I seen a celebrity woman. Who I ain't going to say her name. Because I ain't that messy. 
But I seen a celebrity woman one time. I had worked with a celebrity woman who I showed her a guy and she said, ew, disgusting. And I said, you Google images. I say, Google all, hit all. You clicked on images, click all. When she clicked all, and she saw that his income was in the eight figures. This means 10 million up. She said, Tony, I got to have him. She connected with him. She got pregnant by him and she had his child. They did not work out. They did not work out and he is paying child support for the next 22 years. But because she was broke, she was going broke. She needed to get a little ugly. And, and this the man is what I call little ugly. And that's why we need to form a board. We need to form a board that you got to come to the board and you got to ask us, am I ugly? And we are going to tell you in nicest way possible if you is little ugly. And we is not hating on you. It is a jury of 12. We is a board. We are honest. And we're going to tell you the truth. If you look like who shot John and forgot to kill him, we is going to let you know that you look like a basket case. And we're going to tell you in the nicest way possible. But for some reason, this man did not know he was ugly. And he slept with this woman. And this woman is a Jezebel. She is a black widow. She got pregnant by him. She had his child, and now he paying child support for the next 22 years. Now, Jalen Green is not little ugly, because he tall, he athletic, but he is dunking balls in more ways than one. When a man paint his nails, he dunks balls. I'm going to tell y'all ladies something. I don't care what trend is out here. I do not care what fad is out here. If a man paints his nails, and I'm not talking about clear polish. If a man put a color on his nails, he play with balls. And I'm not talking about NFL, MLB and NBA there is no exceptions to the rules if a man paints his nails he play with balls there is no other way to put it so the thing with Jalen Green is he dunks balls in more ways than one and when you are a ball dunker, you do not care if the woman you sleeping with is considered a H.O. Because anything will do when you need you somebody to lay down with. And these women sometimes become cover ups and they don't care. So the woman will say, hey, I the woman saying she need his money. And he's saying, I need you as a cover-up. And so they do a business deal, a swap. The man will get with an overly sexualized woman because he operating from a spirit. He operating from a spirit because I'm going to tell you something. Although most women have had multiple relationships, one thing that a man does not uh, one thing that a real man does not want to do is be with a woman that he knows 
has had that he can pinpoint the woman relationship. It's one thing for a man to know and assume that this woman has been in five or ten relationships. But when you can Google image the relationships, it's going to a real man is not going to be with that woman because men are territorial. Women think it's the other way around. Women think that that make a man confident and that make a man secure. No. The men who do that is men like P. Diddy. Men like Neo. Men like Jamie Foxx. And now men like Jalen Green. And one thing that you notice that these men have in common is that we all could kind of, we all have heard rumors about the men going both ways, about these men being ball dunkers. And that's the thing. Because that's when you don't care no more because your spirit is turned out. So that's why Jamie Foxx made that song about. He don't care about a woman past and about the numbers and all of that. And that's and Neo said, made a song saying the same thing. He don't care about a woman past and about the numbers. Because when you get out there and you get infiltrated, when your in get filled, when you get infiltrated, you lose sense of reality. You no longer care about stuff that you should be caring about. Uh-oh. These boys coming to play my son. They pulling up on this here charter bus. They look like they coming to kick some behind. Uh-oh. So this is the thing. And the thing about it is this stuff is in the public. This stuff in the public so I have to teach on it now. Because what this stuff is doing is it's skewing the relationship world. And, and it's skewing, it's messing with the young men mind. And young men thinking, oh, I'm finna go get me a woman that's 20 years older than me. That's not the move. That's not the move. That's not what you want to do. Because guess what? If him and Dre stay together, she gonna be on Depends. When he's still... A whippersnapper. She gonna have to wear the pins. And then, and then when she pushed this child out at forty, now it's women. I've heard a woman having a child up to fifty-three, but when she pushed this child out at forty, stuff finna start iking up. She finna start having little peas, just like you know. It, when a woman body go to change, and, and you know a woman could laugh hard and pee on herself a little bit, and so. Jalen, he young. He finna be out and she finna... <laughs> I'll be right back. And so, stuff gonna change. And also, she gonna be old school. She gonna be wanting to put some rum on the baby gums. Because she 40. The way you used to swallow a child at night and the way you feed a child and do all that, he finna be like... Oh, Oh, uh, Jalen finna be in there like, man, what you doing with castor oil? What is castor oil? And then he trying to get in touch with her. He got to write on AOL.com. Like, why you email? I was trying to forward this email about our trip to you, AOL.com, and it kept bouncing back. And so, because she finna be old compared to him. And I'm going to tell you, he 22 years old. The words that they use, we don't use them words at 40. They finna, have, they finna be two different languages. It's finna be like a Spanish person talking to a French person. And at the end of the day, they just finna be... Because that, that age gap is too great. And at 40 years old, every woman know... That that body start that the woman body start to change at 30. 40 hormones is different. Now a woman could have a sexual prime 40 to 50, maybe 50 to 60, but still hormones is different. 
a 22 year old man not gonna really realize and understand the complexities of a woman's body. 40 years old, that period might go to smelling different. That P might go to smelling different. 22, he finna be, he used to little young whippersnapper. He go in there after she done peed. Did you have some asparagus? Oh, you ain't had no asparagus? He on the phone with his mama. Oh, mama, I wanted to know. When you was 40, like, did your urine start to smell just a little? I don't know the smell, but maybe I think they said sulfur, my teacher said. He on the phone with his mama, and she like, listen, boy, I tried to tell you. I tried to tell you. I tried to tell you that that woman was too old for you. That woman giving your baby rum to go to sleep. That woman swaddling your baby in Jesus cloth. She holding the baby upside down to make it burp. He just finna be in over his head. Man, he not gonna understand. So now listen. Now, we ain't talking about literally. But it's, it, it's gonna be a difference between being 22 and being 40. It's gonna be a difference. And now, uh, somebody talking about not true, I smell better than ever. Nichelle, babe, you just told on yourself. You think it's all out those. Because you could have kept that to yourself. The fact that you had to come in the comments to defend what you smell like when ain't nobody talking to you, ain't nobody talking about you, just let everybody know your pee stink. Because it stepped on your toes. Come on now. You already know what grandma said. And that's what Drell going to be saying to... Jalen, a hit dog holler. You could have just kept that little stank pee and been offended and been quiet. But when you come on here arguing in the comments and ain't nobody talking to you, you're telling on yourself. It's not worth it. Like OJ told y'all when he, he said, if it don't fit, you must acquit. If it don't apply, let it fly. Stay out the comments. Y'all need to learn a lesson in being quiet. So now you done let the whole world know your peace thing. Now be quiet while I'm trying to teach. So this is what I'm trying to tell you. Is these relationships is getting upended. Because a lot of a lot of these young men are looking for a cover-up. They looking for a cover up because a lot of these young men, because they want to, because they want to have threesomes. See, if a woman is going broke, because you got to think about it, it's hard to make money when you. It ain't start raining. That's my AC. It's on the tundra or nothing. My AC blow real hard in here. It's hard to make money when you are in the public eye, like Drell. And and she got a swimsuit line that I've seen before. And the baby suits look good. But once you buy that baby suit and the strings coming out, you going back to fashion over. You going back to fashion over and you're not going to be able to outdo fashion over. So, Fashion Nova sent me a check. So, you're going back to Fashion Nova. So, guess what that income finna do? And if you're not on no TV show, and you too famous to go work a regular job, nah, you got to live off of dinner dates. That money start to get funny. Because I have coached reality stars who, when the show is over, we broke. When we do reality TV, you get your check up front. 
By the time the show air and by the time the last episode hit, you done spent that money. You about now about on somebody's couch. Unless you got some support. And so people don't realize that though. People don't understand that. People don't realize that. So with Drell, yeah, he could, yeah, Jalen could be a nice guy. But he got that bag on him. And the boy good now. Nah. The boy good. The boy ain't sorry now. Nah. Jalen ain't sorry by far. So if he keep his head on straight, Jalen gonna eat. Jalen gonna eat off basketball money for the next 15, 20 years. So she's great. She's great. And that's what that was about. Because it wasn't about a love connection. Because love also got to make sense. So what this is, it's kind of like, and this is what a lot of people don't realize. Would you let, think about this mama, if you a mama, you have a newborn baby and your baby come out cute. You got your cute little boy, newborn. Would you let your newborn baby date a 18 year old woman? Why not? She ain't gonna do nothing kiss him in the mouth. Why you ain't gonna let your newborn baby, baby boy date an 18 year old woman? She just love how cute he is. And she wanna be a mama to him. And the men her age just immature. She fed up. She'll just rather wait to your new to, to, to your newborn that she finna date. Just get his wisdom and get his stuff going. See, we don't look at it like that. We look at it like it's different, but it's not because a 40-year-old woman got 18 years of game that a 22-year-old boy don't have. 18 years of game. Think about it now. Every woman that has that is not a virgin that's on this video, think about this. Every woman that is not a virgin that is on this video if you have been in a long-term really intense relationship where you were sexually active and you started to grow with that man evolve with that man explore with that man sexually you telling me you don't know a trick of the trade in conversation in the bedroom in cooking a meal that an 18 year old ain't never seen if you 40 that a 22 year old ain't never seen at 40 years old you see what i'm saying 22 years old he was like whoa what was that you just did? Oh my God. What in the world? He got on the phone. Hey, yo, hey, um, Bill. Um, I, I, I'm, I need to send a wire. Yeah, I, Bill, listen. Do, do I work for you or you work for me, Bill? Okay, I need to send a wire. I want to send $100,000 to this account. I'm going to give you the account right now, Bill. When that 22 year old man at 21, because what y'all have to realize is these boys who play these high level sports, because I've worked with these young men since they was 15, 13, 14, 15. I worked with these young men. He could have been in one of my groups when he was in high school from me working with the top 100. But listen, these young men don't really have a lot of experience. Because they so busy with their sport. They with their sport. They spend more time with their teammates than they spend with their parents. They don't have a lot of experience. So when they get an older woman, that woman can rock their world. That woman rock their world. That woman rock what just happened. Oh my goodness. Ma'am, you can have it all. What you need. Because I'm going to tell you, I'd be like that with my wife. 
when my wife, when I have, and I'm a grown musky man, my wife will mess around and be done loved on me. And I'll be like, baby, hey, go buy your Chanel bag. Yesterday, my wife took me out to eat. I, baby, transfer $3,000 to your account just for taking me out to eat. I ain't know how to eat. She and we hadn't even done nothing. She took me out to eat. I said, baby, transfer $3,000 to your account. That's how we be. So I'm, so you think Dre and hung around Chris Brown and don't know no tricks and don't let her have to hung around Trey Song. If she done hung around Trey Songs and Chris Brown, man, Drell no tricks that got Jalen Green head spinning. When I tell that boy head spinning, he got a little bit of that money and became a monkey. Jalen got a little bit of that monkey and went to scratching on his armpit, swinging from tree limbs. I'm gonna tell you the truth, I already know. I already know how it go. I already know how this stuff works. So listen, I'm gonna tell you something. When you was a millionaire, think about this. Think about this. If Jalen had to pay $10,000 a month, when they break up, if he got to pay $10,000 a month for a year, that's 1.2 million. I mean, no, 120,000, my bad, I'm thinking 100,000. That's $120,000. After 10 years, this man has paid a million dollars and some change. After he's paid 1.2 million. After 20 years, this man has paid $2.4 million in child support. Guess what? He made that in six months. So to get swabble lobble to get swabble lobble, dibble dobble, gibble gobble by Dre or Michelle for two point four million, he it's, he he feel like it, that's worth paying the price because that's what these guys are doing. That's what they'll do because guys is doing this. Look at how much money Floyd Mayweather spent on these women. He'll have thirteen women and buy all of them a Birkin bag. It's like Floyd could have built. A whole nother continent of Africa by now. With how much money he done spent on Birkin bags. But hey, I got to go. God bless y'all. Y'all listen back to this here. Understand these relationships and make sure that you not being finesse. Make sure that you not being finesse. Make sure that you doing the right thing. Make sure that you is picking somebody for the right reasons and that you not finessing or being finessed because that's what's happening but god bless we will talk later i got i'm going to a movie tonight so probably won't be back on tonight i want to fly out there to houston for that rodeo just to see that rodeo but i just don't feel like i don't know if people be racist out there but um y'all got a rodeo cut rodeo tickets simply cut rodeo ticket god bless we'll talk soon.